Good afternoon, everybody. George Salamis, President and CEO of Integra Resources. Uh, really happy to be talking today uh, about some of the best high-grade results that we've had from the Delamar project since we acquired the project almost four years ago. Um, what you're going to see today is, is our largest list, our biggest suite of high-grade results to date that we put out on this project. Uh, really some spectacular grades, but I think what, what really strikes me the, the most about characterizing this news release is really all about uh, vein continuity. I would really urge you to look at the cross section that comes with this uh, presentation in our news release. What it shows is really vein continuity that's really starting to shape up and, and we're really onto something is what we feel out there with a lot of results this time around from Florida Mountain. Once again, lots of high grade, in fact, the most amount of high grade that we've put out uh, in any news release since the beginning and some spectacular results. Just to re read you a couple, just to read you the headlines maybe, Integra intersects high grade gold, silver in 10 additional veins. So that's the biggest amount, uh, a record number of high grade hits uh, in one release, by the way, at Florida Mountain, uh, 12 and a half grams gold, 156.92 grams per ton silver, or 14.52 grams per ton gold equivalent over a thickness of 9.2 three nine meters and there's some high grade hits associated with those so um, lots of great news today obviously our hit rate of a uh, high grade at florida mountain is still way up there well above 70 percent which is for a high grade exploration project that sits underneath a bulk tonnage low grade resource that's really good um, so i'll take you through those today maybe take you through uh however just to start with a bit of a recap of things on the ground. So our forward-looking statement, please have a look at that. And then kind of moving on just to kind of set things geographically here uh, in terms of where we sit in southwestern Idaho. There is Boise up there, the great city of Idaho, uh, big, great capital of Idaho rather, where uh, we met Brad Little um, not too long ago. And then uh, with the board, we drove down to site in the secondary road off the interstate straight into the Delamar concession area, a western part of Delamar. Uh, this is the Delamar deposit itself, 3.3 million ounces of gold equivalent. Florida Mountain, 1.1 million ounces of gold equivalent. Both of those together, obviously two big gold silver deposits. I would urge you to look at our disclosure in previous news releases, talking about the breakdown of those resources to get a better sense of where they are at grades, et cetera. So obviously, the subject of today's news release is really about Florida Mountain. And again, this high grade that we've been hitting consistently over the course of the last few years. Um, and then just to give you a hint of where we're drilling next, we're going to move from Florida Mountain on to War Eagle. Um, so more excitement to come out of War Eagle. Some of the highest grade results, in fact, uh, that we've ever released came out of War Eagle. Uh, was more results to come at Black Sheep. So lots of activity on the go. I should also say that this project, this entire project, is now the focus of a pre-feasibility study, which is ongoing. We're still very much on target to deliver that study in the fourth quarter of this year. But back to Florida Mountain, and maybe giving you a sense of the lay of the land. Uh, some of you might have seen this before, certainly. But uh, this is a view, a drone view of the project looking from west to east. The deposit itself is oriented in north-south fashion, uh, really with the upper part of the resource uh, boundary being the top of that high wall, the old high wall that Kinross mined successfully over a long period of time. And then the bottom of the resource as defined as of today is really below that haulage road. Uh, the results that you're gonna see today primarily are all from the depth extensions of these plunging high grade shoots that exist that we've talked about before in other news releases. But today we've really released a record amount of high grade gold and silver. So we'll get to that in, in a second. Now moving to uh, Florida Mountain from a digital perspective, and just to kind of zoom in on that, uh, again, many of you would have seen that before. This is the block model uh, that came out just over two years ago. Uh, the red being the oxide gold silver, the green being the transitional uh, mineralization gold silver, and the blue being the sulfide underneath. Uh, you can see some of the workings here from the old timers and the mining that was done back in the late 1800s, early 1900s. But really the crux of this image is really to show 
sort of the high grades that we came out with that we released back in 2019 when we were kind of really getting on to something here. We knew that it was high grade there because we know that we knew that the old timers had mined a fair bit of it back in the day. But really, this was our first sort of echoes of this high grade, this, this high grade plunging geometry, which we now know a lot more about today. And then getting into the first half of 2020, you can see uh, starting to step out on some of those uh, previous results. You can see some of these high grades there. I won't go through them, but you can read them for yourself. Some of them are quite spectacular. And then, so that was the first half of 2020, 2020. Um, then on to the fourth quarter of 2020, more high grade results. Um, this time again, starting to step out now at some significant distances away from the resource deposit. So at this point, we know that there are a number of these high grade plunging gold silver shoots uh, that exist below the deposit on strike from the deposit. We had more work to do. So we went on to drill into the first quarter of 2021 earlier this year. And again, this is evidence of some really high grade gold silver mineralization. So you're starting to see geometries come together. You're starting to see these plunging shoots really start to materialize into something spectacular. And then into the second quarter of this year, pulling the, uh, the grade downwards towards, again, some of these plunging shoots. Now, again, once again, a mixture of high grade uh, and in some cases, a bulk tonnage low grade. And um, so the crux of today's announcement is really this. Here are some of the results that we released earlier today. And you can see, again, there's some spectacular runs. I'll just, in fact, read off a couple of them for you. 49.9 um, grams per ton gold, uh, 1,622 grams per ton silver over 1.52 meters. 103.94 grams per ton gold, 1,202 0.39 grams per ton silver over 1.22 meters, 73.25 grams per ton gold, 427 grams per ton silver over 1.52 meters. Um, there's are some spectacular silver grades. I'll give you an example, 13.45 grams per ton gold, 4,617 grams per ton silver. That's 4.6 kilos per ton of silver over 1.1 meters. So you get the picture. Um, there are 10 hits most of which are outside of the resource boundary, where we're starting to see this high grade really starting to uh, materialize. And so if I put everything together, I throw everything on the screen in terms of all of the results um, going forward. And before I do that, I'm just gonna show you where today's results kind of sit relative to the resource and uh, the block model and the 1350, gold 1690 silver open pit, you can see an abundance of intercepts outside of the pit shell that you see there. Really exciting stuff. Now we're really showing continuity now um, of some of these, these plunging shoots at depth outside of the resource boundary. Um, obviously more to come later on this year. And then when I throw on the totality of everything uh, that we've drilled so far in the last two and a half years, well, it's that mass jumble, but you know, trust me, each one of those intercepts, and there are 30 plus odd of them uh, well outside of the resource boundary are very, very high grade. Um, another interesting thing to look at from a geological perspective for all you uh, geological uh, buffs out there, here is a section that sits, sort of cuts the lower third or the southern third of the deposit. Um, through the pit constraint that you can see there. The top red is the felsic volcanic. Yes, the high grade goes up into there, but really where things start to get magical, if you will, in terms of high grade gold and silver is really in that pink unit, that granodiuretic rock where the old timers mined a whole lot of gold and, and silver, um, very high grade. So you can see as you spin around where some of these hits occur, uh, both in the upper sequences, but primarily in the, in the granite, granodiorite that sits um, deeper down in the mountain. I'm just gonna reverse this and show you uh, the back side of this section uh, relative to the resource model that you can see there. So pretty interesting stuff. Um, we really feel like we're onto something here in terms of highlighting high-grade resource potential underneath the bulk tonnage uh, gold silver deposit, which is the subject of a pre-feasibility study that's ongoing to be delivered in the fourth quarter of this year. So lots on the go. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, we're, we're going to keep drilling here. Obviously, our next really exciting target to move to 
is out there, and that's War Eagle. Uh, more results to come from Florida Mountain, uh, more results to come from this area of black sheep. That's looking quite interesting, and obviously a pre-feasibility study to be delivered in the fourth quarter of this year. Thanks very much. Really excited. Obviously, coming back from the site gives me a great thrill. It's great to be down with the team, and I look forward to telling you all about what's next in terms of results to come. Thank you very much.